A dwarfish dog. There was a man who fed a dog who could give him all kinds of service. One day the man went to work in the field, but before he left his house, he had told his wife to let the dog carry the food for him in the afternoon. In the afternoon, when his wife had finished cooking she tied a basket of food to the dog's neck and told him to carry it to his master. The dog ran towards the field where his master worked, but when he was halfway from home, there flowed a small river which was not shallow enough to be crossed by walking. And as there was no boat there, and the dog could not avoid it, he began to swim across the river, for it was midday and almost lunchtime. When the dog swam across the river, the food became soaked in water. But he ran straight to his master. The master untied the basket from the neck of the dog and opened it. On seeing that the food was soaked in water, he was very angry with the dog and struck him with a stick. The dog was annoyed with his master and thought I am very powerful, but the stick is much more powerful than I am. He hit me, so I had better pray to the god to change my body into a stick. Please change me into a stick. When the dog prayed to the god he came and changed the dog into a stick as he wished. The stick dog flew everywhere and hit everyone. All the people were annoyed with the stick dog, then they asked the god to change the stick. So the god made fire to burn the stick dog. When the stick dog saw fire burning him, he thought that fire was much more powerful than the stick, then he begged the god to change him into fire. The god changed the dog into fire as he wished. The fire dog spread everywhere burnt everything. The world was very angry with the fire dog, then they asked the god to weaken it. The god brought down rain to stop the power of the fire. The fire dog thought that fire was not as powerful as rain, so he begged the god to change his body into rain. The god changed the dog into rain as he wished. The rain dog played havoc with agriculture. The world was very angry with rain, then they told the god to weaken the rain. The god brought wind to stop the rain. The rain dog was overpowered by the wind, then he begged the god to change him into wind. The god changed the dog into wind as he wished. When the dog became wind, he blew everything away, uprooted trees, destroyed boats, houses and killed many people. The world was very angry with the wind dog and they asked the god to check wind. Then a hillock was put up before him. The wind dog could destroy everything but could not destroy the hillock. The dog thought that the hillock was more powerful than he, then he asked the god to change him into a hillock. The god changed him into a hillock as he wished. When the dog was made a hillock, the buffalo gored and destroyed him, then the dog begged the god to change him into a buffalo as he wished. When the dog became a buffalo, people could not use him, because he was very strong cord running through his nose. As the buffalo dog could not break the cord he thought that the cord was more powerful than a buffalo, so he asked the god to change him into a cord. The god changed him into a cord as he wished. The god changed the buffalo dog into a cord, but later there came a dwarfish dog near the cord and ate up the cord, because it was made of leather. When the cord dog saw that a dwarfish dog was more powerful than he, then he asked the god to change him again into a dwarfish dog. The god changed the cord dog into a dwarfish dog as the cord dog wished. The cord dog became again a dwarfish dog that he had been in the past, 